up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today it's a little bit different. I'm in front of the camera, trying something new with the thumbnail. Got a really exciting video for you guys today. Today I'm trying to get into some more laptop style videos in 2020. So today we're gonna be looking at how to recover files from your trash on the Mac. I made a similar video talking about PCs a few uh, days ago, if you guys wanna check it out. I'll have the link below, it'll be in the little info button up there. But today we're gonna be looking at Distrill, which is some really awesome software, again, for recovering files from your Mac. We're gonna take a look at that. I'm gonna use the screencast feature, walk you guys through how to install it on your MacBook Pro, uh, whether you have you know, the new MacBook Pro or one of the older ones that works with multiple versions. They also have a Windows and also mobile version, which I'll talk about. Go through all the steps and I'll show you guys an example. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, YouTube, let's go ahead and get right into the process. You guys can see the website right here, cleverfiles.com is where you'll go to find the disk drill software. Now, as I said, they do have versions for Mac as well as Windows, also iOS and Android recovery if you wanna use those as sort of like an external um, storage device on one of those machines, you can recover things that are also uh, deleted from there as well. So today I'm gonna be using the Mac version to show you guys on my MacBook Pro as I mentioned. You can go right here to download the software, just to show you guys some of the features really quick. Recover all file formats, all major devices supported. No expert skills, it's basically just a one click, you know, point and click solution. Uh, Mac cleanup, duplicate finder, disk health, you get these things for free data protection, data backup, recovery drive, scan for lost data, recover lost data, which we're gonna do an example of. Restore data on any internal or external storage, iOS and Android, which is all very cool. So go ahead to free download right here. Download this uh, to your machine, I've already done it. Uh, but once you do download this, it's a very simple process uh, to actually do the installation. As you can see right here, you download the file, then go ahead and drag into your applications folder and then open it up and then you'll be good to go. You can also download it for older versions of the Mac down here. You can see for different Mac OS versions right there as well. Uh, choose your storage device that you want to actually scan and then recover those things, which we're going to do an example here in a second. Used by a bunch of different companies here that they list in the references. I've used it. It's very easy to use. Of course, if you want to upgrade to the pro license uh, to actually recover large amounts of data, things like that, you can do so. Uh, we'll have the information below as well as any relevant discount codes in the description as well as the pen comment if you guys want to check that out. So let's go ahead and close the browser window. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open here in my applications, disk drill, which is right there. And we're actually gonna use this to do some recovery uh, from my Mac HD. So just to show you guys that there's no sort of funny business going on, I'll actually go into my finder here and choose some documents to send to the trash and then we will permanently delete those. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is send these three thumbnails. It's kind of a common issue I have. Sometimes I will accidentally delete a thumbnail for video. Later I realize I wanna reuse the font or something. I wanna remember what it's all about. Um, so then I need to recover them. So I'll go ahead and move those to the trash. Again, I'm gonna go into the trash folder here, empty the trash so you can see that, you know, this would be just like if you accidentally deleted some sort of file and then you needed to recover it, then you can do that using disk drill. So let me make it a little bit bigger here for the window so you guys can see everything. See the various drives here? The Macintosh HD is where you'd wanna search here if you were actually looking for, you know, recovering anything like, um, anything like the trash or anything like that. All right, so let's say we wanna go ahead and do the scan here. What we're gonna do is go here into run all recovery methods to try to recover this from the trash. You'll see here that immediately it pops up with the guaranteed recovery option. It says there's four files. You can expand this. You sometimes you have to go down a couple levels, of course. This one was in the trash. So you'll see here, if you go all the way down, there are those things I have in the trash. Now, once you already find the thing that you need, you can see it's gonna scan for a long time, about 30 minutes remaining to scan all the files. You can go ahead and pause this and then go ahead and actually recover all the files that you want. Go ahead and check all those boxes and then go up here to recover in the top right corner. And then once you do that here, you'll see it says success as to where things are gonna be saved. Those things will then be restored for you. Uh, you can see here that if you go to my recovery drive, which is where I actually have everything sort of stored for recovery, right here, this is the guaranteed recovery folder on my Samsung T3 external hard drive. That's where I had it saved to. You'll see all of the files that I originally had deleted from the trash. You can go ahead and open up any of those. Those are some thumbnails from my past videos. As you can see the one from the last video I just did as well. All those files I deleted are right there. Now, one thing I will say about this 
It is a good idea to try to recover to an external hard drive. So if you have something like I have my Samsung T3 SSD, which is an external drive, you can recover from something that's different than the drive you saved uh, and deleted them from. So something you accidentally deleted from your uh, Mac hard drive, you might want to try to recover it to an external hard drive. It makes it a little bit easier. All right, guys, so that's the process pretty much. Disk drill, very easy to use. Like I said, lots of benefits bundled in with this. I'm gonna drop the information below uh, for the pro license if you guys do wanna check it out. Uh, any relevant discount codes as well. Please do support them. I really appreciate them sponsoring this video. Uh, you guys can find me at Instagram, Twitter, the links in the description, dotechdaily.site. If you guys have any questions or comments, drop them below. I'll be happy to get back to you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.